Hi guys, I'm Danieli Rios and I'm here with Felipe Morita. We are both pros from Killer Spin and today we're going to explore the benefits of multiple. But before we dive in, Felipe is going to explain what is multiple training. Right, Daniel, that's perfect. So, as the name says, multiple. So, you're going to use multiple balls for the training. I recommend between 50 to 150 balls. And then, the multiple training, you can feed the balls with your hand or with your pedal. Today, we're going to uh, explain how to do with your hands. Yes, that's right, Felipe. And for this exercise, you'll need some equipment. You need a partner, a table, your paddle, and you also need a bucket of balls, as Felipe said. Perfect. So, let's do another table? Yeah, let's do it. Just a quick reminder why multiple training is so useful. To build any kind of precision, you have to repeat a movement thousands of times. When you play with someone else, that is difficult to achieve, unless there are top players who can generate the same ball for you, no matter what type of shot you give to them. Players at that level are hard to come by, and not everyone has a chance to practice with one of them. Multiple allows even beginner level players to repeat entire rallies. The point continues even when you miss, so the sequence is not interrupted. You can simulate long and intense rallies that are not only difficult or impossible for beginners, but can be a challenge for advanced level players. Even your practice partners serving multiple gains valuable experience in touch and control over their own movements, benefiting their overall game as well. So guys, for doing the multiples in your hands, the first thing, get the bucket of balls near you. You're gonna grab the balls with one hand, pass to the other, and then you're gonna feed the ball. It's very important you not be too close to the table, neither too far. Like in a good distance, let's say a foot from the table, and it's very important you decide which is one you are more comfortable, if it's underhand or if it's overhand. I personally prefer underhand, it's a little bit harder to aim the ball, but the pace is more similar to a real game. So if I throw the ball like this, the ball goes faster versus this, if I go to go overhand, I have to bend my knees more, so I avoid hitting the ball too high on the other side. So I bend my knees more, and then I throw the ball to Daniele. So these are the two ways that you can throw the ball to your partner, to feed, and Daniele has some recommendations for you when you start, right? Yeah, so when you start, start slow, right? Because it's not easy, it's gonna be uncomfortable in the beginning, so start slow, and then when you feel comfortable, you can go faster. Mm -hmm. And you can also change the direction or from where you're going to aim that ball. Um, and also for the person that is doing the multiple, the ball is not gonna come too fast, but maybe it's gonna come weird. Mm -hmm. So it's important to pay attention to your position and to your technique. So that's something that you can also work for yourself and the person that is feeding the ball is also right. helping. Because with the hand, sometimes it can be a little bit irregular your throw. It's important that your partner is ready to move and adapt a little bit to each situation. Uh, I recommend if you've never done this, throw like at least 10 balls, at least practice, you know, whoever is throwing the ball to make sure you're always throwing the ball in the right spot. And then, once you get comfortable, then Danielle can go and I can go a little bit faster, you know? So she can, you know? And it's a little bit more realistic. And then, I can go here and I can go to her back end. And this time, I'm gonna throw overhand. So I bend my knees and I do the same thing. Notice that I'm always aiming to the same spot and throwing the ball, and throwing the ball so she can practice her fundamentals. It's very important, as she said, start slow, and as you get more comfortable, you can start like going faster and faster if you are able to, to place the ball where you want. Yes, and something that I recommend is to ask for your partner feedback so you can have a better understanding what they want to practice or if they maybe want to do an exercise with footwork. It's, it's really important to know um, your partner's feedback. And I recommend for you guys both practice. Like, I throw the ball to Daniele one bucket, and then on the next bucket, I train, and Daniele to toss the ball to me. So you're always like changing, so you both can practice the toss and the training, right? Yes, correct. Thank you. Well, guys, that's it for today's video, where we explore the benefits of multiple, and you also learn how to do multiple feeding with your hand. 
That's perfect, Danny. And in the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the multiple training using your pedal, which is more realistic, a little bit harder, but it's better. It's more beneficial for you and for your partner to learn how to fit the multiple training using your pedal. Yes, and if you want to learn more about table tennis, you can check Killer Spin Skill Academy where we have more information and we have different courses. You can check the description down below for more information. And remember to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. Thank you guys, see you next Thank time. Thank you.